back to Sally Entertainment. I'm your host, Orion Vincent, and tonight we got the Chilliwack Bruins versus the LeDuc Roughnecks. Live from Sardis Sports Complex in beautiful Chilliwack, British Columbia, this is the U18 Rep Tournament, Round Robin. With me, not so classic, but still a co-host, Aaron Green. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. If you've clicked on this video and you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, smash that thumbs up, and let's get into some rep hockey. Green, we were just having a look at the LeDuc Roughnecks in the yellowish mustardy uh, jerseys with the blue trim and they have Burnett in between the pipes for them and on the other end right in front of our very eyes it's the Chilliwack Bruins wearing those white jerseys with yellow and brownish trim and they have Dylan in between the pipes for them. What's up Dylan? What's up Burnett? Green, the U18 rep tournament is where we are. This is the last round robin game. The tournament is hosted by Chilliwack. I'm excited. It's our eighth game of the tournament that yeah. we've gotten to see and every game has been fantastic so far yeah it's been a really good weekend i'm glad we came out for this me too green and i'm glad that they brought us out yes. and there's a hit to start it right off as burnett swallows that puck no warming up in this game just start crushing each other that's right that's how it goes in rep hockey green there's no such thing as warming up you have five <laughs> minutes for that in the beginning of the game oh. and look at that diving save wow. by the chilliwack bruins player as the bruins have nice it block. or sorry that was um I think he got in the way. He didn't save it. That was the Roughnecks. That was the Roughnecks. Indeed, Green. It's a warm-up for the players and the commentators here tonight <laughs> in the booth. Dusty uh, commentators with A-class hockey. You'd think we'd be warm from sitting here all weekend, but it's cold in this booth. It is freezing. The temperatures are very cold right now, Aaron Green. And uh, we're diving into the action with the Roughnecks. They Ooh, mishandle the puck. Number six. Uh, he's battling with it as he throws it in there. Uh, the Leduc Roughnecks. Offside. Number 16. Feline has a shot, and Dylan makes the save. I thought that came out of the zone, but I could have been tripping out. I'm not 100% sure, Aaron Green, but we're back into the action as the Chilliwack Bruins are in the neutral zone, having a skate on the far side, trying to make a move to go around a roughneck. The goalie, oh, looks like the referee's got his arm up, and there it is. Uh, Aaron Green seen it as the Chilliwack Bruins play pass with each other from the point that oh. let it go. Trickles just wide as Harassimo goes to collect the puck. Harassimo looking for a point, turns away from Klaus as he gets a little help from his friend, number eight, Muxlow. Muxlow has the puck on the near side boards. Chilliwack Bruins, Schmidt feeds it to Muxlow, right back to Schmidt, who Let's it go and hits a skate of a Leduc roughneck and bounces. Oh, they pulled the goalie. Uh, looks like it. So they have an extra attacker, Green, since there is that penalty. Yep. And the roughnecks touch it, and here is the penalty. Aaron Green called the interference, but it's a slashing call. A slashing? I thought it was the interference when he was <laughs> So he the is down. wrong. And ladies and gentlemen, let's have a look at this. Oh, There's right there. The, okay. I guess that was a little bit of a light slash, if you ask me. I thought it was more of an interference than anything. Yeah. Either way, uh... Mariah, Mariah Glaude's going to have to go in green. This is the perfect time for me to take a second to apologize in advance. If I mispronounce your name or call you the wrong number, I am sorry. It happens <laughs> way too often. We do it on a regular basis. Uh, every single game, I'm messing up names. It's what I do here on the panel at Selly Entertainment. Oh! oh, my goodness. Kiz Layson had an opportunity of a lifetime that he found on. He looked like me out there on the ice cream. Dude, I was just about to say, look at how well they're moving the puck around. And then they did that beautiful pass for the one-timer. Oh, and nice then shot. they score! Just like that, the Chilliwack Bruins open up the board here tonight at Sardis Sports Complex. Yep, they did exactly what I was saying, moving the puck around. That puck movement was fantastic, and I really think that good. was Schmidt who got the goal. Now that I'm seeing it, Green, we're going to have to run it back and get a closer look. Who, oh, so that was the one-timer from five. There it is. Gislason has the puck. Gislason, sorry, I was just marking That's stuff okay. on my whiteboard. Gislason has it. He's got Williams up front, decides to feed it to Rose. Rose on the near side, feeds it all the way over to number seven, Wismer, who feeds it to Schmidt. Schmidt oh, lets it go shot. and gets that behind Burnett with that pinpoint accuracy. Yeah, what a shot that was, man. One to nothing, the Chilliwack Bruins over the Leduc Roughnecks in this first period here live at Sardis Sports Complex. Live, baby. The last round robin game that Sally Entertainment gets to see before we dive into the gold medal games. I Green. can't wait for those. Yes, I cannot wait for them all. I'm really excited because we don't get an opportunity to see Chilliwack play, and we've never seen uh, Leduc play. Nope, I have not. So this is uh, it's all exciting for me, Green. And so far, it looks like we got ourselves a game as a good uh, Jokowski feeds it up to number eight, who passes it off to Muxlow. Muxlow lets it go. An easy save by Burnett. Gobbled that one up. 
You sure did, Green. And uh, speaking of warm-ups, how we were talking about that earlier, it takes me a little while to get warmed up to calling new names. Yeah. Um, we're used every, to Chilliwack by now. Uh, a little used to Chilliwack. Yep. We've seen this team once before. We've never seen uh, the Leduc Roughnecks before. So it's going to take me a while. They got some names on the board, that's for sure. I'm definitely, I'm definitely going to butcher some of them. Oh, and the Schmidt comes in, trying to power his way to the net. He's backed up by a, a teammate there on the near side, down low in the corner as the Leduc Roughnecks are battling. But it's 14. Muxo oh, nice gets hit. away with it and eats a hit as well. From the point, lets it rip. Puck out front. Number 12, Kloss gets it to 13. Hagen. Hagen has a puck. And he flicks it deep into the Chilliwack Bruin zone. Maybe going for a change or maybe going for a chase screen. I don't beautiful, know. That was a beautiful, that was a beautiful oh. low shot from the point there. And a nice hit right there to boot as number 14. Muxo has a puck. Muxo feeds it all the way up. Oh, that would have been sick. Just out of the reach of. Uh, Yo, Here comes Marco with the puck. Oh, he gets stripped by Chilliwack. That was a nice play, too. I thought he was going to drag it right around in front. And we got a whistle oh, got on some, the play, Green. We got some jousting. The referee's arm is up. But it doesn't look like anything's happening. Sorry, I was looking at the whiteboard no, no, again. I, I, was, I didn't know if it was up because he was calling a penalty or what he was doing there. I was relying on you to carry the play. That's okay. I, I, I was, was carrying it. This is why there's two of us, Green. I'm just trying just to pay attention. Two here. of us. You threw me off because when I when I saw his arm go up, I thought maybe he was calling a penalty. Yeah, I have no idea. I was looking down, but now I'm looking up. I'm live back <laughs> in the action as Divine throws it down to number five, Harden. Harden. Um, Battling, I think it's Ben Charsky. Oh, the right the front at number 16. Phelan gets a beautiful goal for the Leduc Roughnecks. Got put right on the doorstep for him. That was beautiful. That was perfect, Green. You cannot ask for a better goal than that. Nope. The Leduc Roughnecks have just tied it up, and we're going to watch it back right here. There's Phelan with the puck on the far side, getting pressured by Gizlayson. Puck squirts out to Divine. Divine Smart using move. all that Divine energy to feed it down. Harden's battling down low. It looks like it's picked up by Ben Charsky. Bencharski back this. to Harden. Harden right to Phelan, and he <laughs> pops it up top, Green. Oh, that was absolutely gorgeous. He put it up top like you're putting away the cookie jar because the kids have had enough for tonight. You don't want them to collapse from a sugar rush. He went up on his tippy toes. He put that so high. He did. What a beautiful goal. Yeah. One to one. It's all tied up here at Sardis Sports Complex. Let's go. And going we are, Green. We are getting into the action, warming it up. And so are the players as their soccer balls bouncing in the background. <laughs> I saw that, I saw that. <laughs> Number seven, Wismir, throws it to Williams. There's battling uh, 15. Harasimo has a puck, feeds it right to Chilliwack. Oh, nice Bruin, who has a shot, and Burnett makes a save. Burnett made a nice save on that. Goaltender has been fantastic yep. on both ends. Yep, very good on both ends. These, these teams are really even matched. They are evenly matched. It seems to be going back and forth. Maybe a little bit of a tilt for the Chilliwack Bruins. Uh, I think they've had a few more chances, but... They were a little pretty more to close. the puck. You're right. No, you that was good. They were a little there have been a little more to the puck. So they've been doing a little they've been spending a little more time in their end. Uh Schmidt has a puck in the Leduc Rough oh. on the back end. Oh my goodness, just wow. out of the reach of Giz Layson as he picks it up, loses a handle and loses his own as the roughnecks are hot on his wow, tail, but he turns around. Uh now it's Yolkowski who's Rushing up the puck, but it's the Roughnecks who turn it around again. The assistant captain, number five, Harden. Harden fires it deep into the Chilliwack Bruins zone as they change, and the Chilliwack Bruins race to gain possession of that puck. But it's the Roughnecks who come out first, and looks like Schmidt threw a little bit of an elbow. Uh, as uh, play continues on on the far side, the Bruins fire it Dump out of chase. their zone, and I don't believe that's going to be an icing because Burnett's going to play it. Smart move. Smart move. Well, I, I don't think he had a choice, Green. I think that puck was going on him. Yep. And there is an icing call on the other end, though. Hey, do you know where the Roughnecks are from? Uh, Leduc. Oh, okay. There you go. And Which I, be that? I believe it's in Edmonton. Oh, okay. Cool. I believe. I could be wrong. I'm, I'm an idiot. And uh, <laughs> I am geographically incompetent. Oh, we got a trip on the play here. But there is a trip. So we're going to have a look at that. I'm okay at hockey. <laughs> Calling it, not playing it. And there is... Uh, I don't know about that one, Green. That one was a don't little... Don't be so hard on yourself. You're good at both. <laughs> That one was uh, a shaky penalty. I'll leave it at that. Uh, back into the action. I didn't see it. I know you didn't. You're too busy blowing your nose because that's what you do when you're Aaron Green. Uh, back into the action. Chilliwack Bruins, number seven, Wismir. Wismir loses the puck or hands it off to Rose. I don't know what one it was, but Rose has possession of it nonetheless in the neutral zone. Rose gains his zone of the Roughnecks on the near side boards. Stopping short, having a look. Feeds it to the point. Number seven, Wismir, right back to Rose. Rose walking it in a little bit, being pressured by the Roughnecks. Feeds it wow. right back to Wismir. Wismir Wismir to Schmidt, back to Wismir. Wismir having a look, right back to Schmidt on the far nice side. Movement. Schmidt puts it out front. Oh, Puck loose. Wow. Looks like it hit a, a tape 
of a roughneck player and just trickled a brunette. Yeah, or he whipped on him a little bit. Man, the Chilliwack Bruins are looking fantastic Dude, right now. They're moving the puck like so nice. Again, I believe that they're on the pa uh, power play, yep, so that, that probably helps. Power play might be over, though. This is a highlight reel, Green, so everything moves a lot quicker than oh, watching nice the move. game. Great move by Harden. Harden throws oh. it up front. <laughs> he can't connect with number 12, Kloss, as a Chilliwack Bruins regain possession. Number five gives Layson battling. Uh, one of his defensemen pokes that puck out. And that's the end of the first period. One to one. We're all tied up here in these round robin, our final round robin game. I like tied up games, man. It means it's a good game. Listen, if you've made it this far and you haven't yet, Hit that subscribe button, smash that thumbs up. Let's get back into this game. And back in the game we are with Phelan, who already has the one and only goal for the Roughnecks. Feeds it to number Ooh. seven, Ben Charsky. Ooh, can't connect, smoked. and then he eats a hit from Wismere as the Roughnecks are starting to play around with it in the Chilliwack Bruins zone. Number six, Mryglod. Mryglod has it, gives it away as the Chilliwack Bruins get that puck out of their zone. Mryglod going to give chase. Oh, He's battling Schmidt. He's hooking Holding. Schmidt all over the place, and the puck just goes wide. He must be getting a penalty for that. No? I I don't know. Green plays it okay, and continue on as uh, there's a big battle down low. Devine throws a cross Ooh. check. Number two, Gervais is a huge body. Schmidt's trying to work him, but there's nothing happening. He, I think Gervais is laughing it off. He's like, you can't touch me uh, <laughs> as um, the puck goes right back in the neutral zone here. Up close and personal is Harassimau and Marglod battling, but Rose gets away with it in his own zone. Rose backhand feeds it right back to the point. Number 20, Stephens. Oh, nice pass. Stephens feeds it right back to Rose, who gains his zone of the Roughnecks. Rose on the far side, cutting around. Nice poke check by Burnett. Beautiful poke check by Burnett. He took Smart away move. that play. Yep, he did. Great work. As the puck goes right back down, number five, Kislayson feeds it off to number six. Marglod brings it all the way back up, and the Roughnecks are in the Chilliwack Bruin zone trying to make something happen. And great work by Wismir to get a stick on that puck. Wismir in a battle with number 13, Hagen, as the Chilliwack Bruins throw that puck in the neutral zone. Oh, he Schmidt has it. it. Schmidt gains his own in the rough decks. He's got Harasmo. Harasmo oh, has the rebound and he fumbles it. Oh my God, he couldn't get the puck. <laughs> What stick a to the stick. What a chance by Erasimo as the pressure continues for the Chilliwack Bruins, but it's the Leduc Roughnecks who have that puck. Number five, Harden throws it in deep into the zone of the Chilliwack Bruins as seven, Wismere picks it up. Wismere is uh, overskates it, and Rob is now battling. Rob's in the mix down low behind Dylan, a name that we haven't heard much of. No, we haven't. That's why I say I think it's been a lot one side, of, yeah, a lot more in the... I agree with you. Yeah. Dylan is a name... We have definitely not heard much of. Uh, Fila has many puck. pucks on him. No, they haven't. They need to get more pucks on him. Fila puts it right out front. Oh, my goodness, Whip. Green. Harden got tied up, it looks like, by Schmidt as number seven, Ben Charsky's battling. Ben Charsky trying to knock that puck loose, but it's the Chilliwack Bruins who fired all the way to the near side boards. Great work by Mryglod to feed it right to, uh, out front. A little bit of a scramble as the Chilliwack Bruins clear the puck, and that's going to be nice. Not many big hits tonight. It's been no. really clean play. So far, so far, pretty it's clean, clean play. I like what I see. Um, oh, a little bit of work by the Roughnecks, but the Chilliwack Bruins clear that danger zone as Muxlow picks up the puck. Muxlow fires it to the far side. Oh, speaking oh. of a hit, there, there is one. a big one right there, Green. I saw that one. Oh, and it looks like there's going to be a penalty on the play on that one. The referee, I'm assuming, is going to call head, head contact. contact. and. We're going to have to look. Uh, the crowd you can hear is in disbelief that there's a penalty. Let's look at it closely, Green. Oh, oh that was head contact. That was a big hit by number 11, Pasenko. Pasenko. And, uh, I mean, I enjoyed that hit. I don't think the Chilliwack Bruins player did. Who Dude, he got his it. hands up really high on him. He's also a big player, Green. Yep. You, you have to look at it that way as well. There's a big height difference. Um, Back into the action we go. The Leduc Roughnecks are playing defensive in their own zone against the Chilliwack Bruins. Uh, Rose overskates it, then collects it. Rose gives it to Wismere on the point. Wismere lets it go through traffic. Nice save by Burnett as uh, the Chilliwack Bruins regain possession. Wismere has it Man, again. Move the puck Wismere is looking for Schmidt, but he found his partner in crime there down low. Schmidt's now in the mix battling with Devine and a couple other Bruins who I cannot see. Green, number 12, Williams is in the mix as well, as well as Gislason and Schmidt. Schmidt gets away with that puck. Schmidt skating, walking the line a little bit, stops Slowing short, it feeds it to the far side. Rose, Rose has a puck looking for someone out front, trying to find Williams, but he's got Wismere oh, as well. He got it back. They're walking away in front of it, and 
they can't get it as the assistant captain has the puck now down low. Feeds it to Wismere from the point. Wismere right back to Gislason. Gislason oh. right to number 12. Williams who has a shot and Burnett gets a glove on it. Man, they set these shots up so well. It's incredible, man. They move it around, and they always look for that one timer in front of the net. Yeah, it's very, very high-level hockey here yeah, uh, being displayed by the Chilliwack Bruins right yep, now, Green. 100%. Uh, the Bruins back with possession. Number 14, Muxlow has it. Feeds it right to Muxlow as well. Right to Steffens. It's the Muxlow connection out <laughs> it's here, the Green. Muxlow connection. Uh, Bruins have a shot. Nice pad saved by Burnett as Muxlow collects that puck on the near side. Feeds it to Steffens on the point. Steffens right over to Rob. Rob trying to rob someone. Throws it up front, and... Burnett must have got a pat on it because it squirted all the way. Must have. I don't know. Or just went right by. But Steffens walks it in a little bit, has a shot, and Burnett gets the glove on it. Goalie had nobody in front of him. He saw that puck coming the whole way. Yeah. Great work by Burnett. He's really getting hammered uh, on. Yeah, that's dude, the, getting, I, I was going to say picked they're on. They're getting a million shots on him, dude. They are. He's and, doing really good. And there's a whistle on the play. You got a slash. Look at the fans slash. all around the stands here, Green. It's a wild dude, night packed. here at Sardis Sports Complex. Oh, and someone there, just waved at us. Hey. There, there was a slash, and there's going to be a penalty as the fans in the stands are waving at Sally Entertainment. That's not going to help them, man. Now they got five on three? Yes. Uh, I don't know, Green. As five on three. It could be. It's a highlight reel, so you never know what it is out here as number five Gislason has. Oh! Oh, <laughs> wow! What a save by Burnett! Holy crap. Green, he huge? slammed the door in his face. Watch how quickly he comes across the net. Burnett kicked him out of his house. Look, boom! Holy. Oh, my God. That should have been in the net. A highlight reel save by Burnett. It's still a 1-1 tie, all because of Burnett. Yep, 100%. His team's got to be patting him on the back right now and thanking him for that. But they oh, and there's a big hit. <laughs> I love it, oh, Green. Get a penalty for it. In the corner of my eye, he just spot a player get run over. That looked pretty clean. Interference. Oh, you know what? Didn't have the puck. He might have not had the puck. I right. was just mesmerized Let's by the hit. Let's run back and take a look. Let's have a look right here, Green. He has the puck right there. Uh, and then he didn't have the puck. That's didn't. interference. Yeah. Yep. That it almost looked like he bumped into each other, but he just gave him a little more of a shove. So. Yeah. Yeah. It is right. what it is, Green. It's a penalty. That's what the referee called. That's how it's going to stand as number 20, Stefan, throws a nice hard hit. The hitting looks like it's ramping up right now. Yeah. It's getting better. Chilliwack Bruins throw it all the way across, but it's intercepted by Klaus. Klaus getting pressured by Fitzsimmons, oh. who throws a little bit of the body and mauls him over like a Chilliwack Bruin. Like, like a, a bear. Like a bear would do when you leave your picnic basket open when you're camping. Green. Um, Raglon oh. has a shot, and Dylan makes a save. Nice shot right through the crowd. Dylan's feet must be getting cold right now. He hasn't had a lot of action <laughs> on the of other movement. end. But it's not like it hasn't been a mismatched game. No, it's been tight. Um, I mean, have just been a little more on top of it. Yeah, and I mean, Burnett's had a handful of uh, Burnett's had his oh, oh the work cut out for him. Geez. Harden throws a nice little get out of my crease hit to Rose. Yeah, Burnett's been uh, standing on his head tonight. Right? He He's really has, Green. I agree. Uh, back into the action. Number twelve, Williams has a puck for the Chilliwack Bruins. Williams behind the net. He's got fifteen. Harassmo with him. Williams. Breaks away on the far side, looking for Harassimo to give back to, but it's intercepted by Klaus as number seven, uh, Wismer, pinches. Or I guess he's not pinching. I don't know, Green. That could have been a penalty right there. It could have indeed, but it wasn't. Oh, nice shot. There is a glove save by Burnett. Again. Again, yes. Just, Just keep doing your job, Burnett. That's all he's got to do, doing Green. Your job. That's all he's got to do. As Moxo feeds it to number three, Rob, and Rob is the one who got robbed by Burnett. By Burnett. Let's see how many times we say that name from now on. Uh, we've already said it. Make it a drinking game. Yeah, okay. Uh, apple juice, obviously. This is U18. Yeah, because yeah. we don't drink. No, Coca-Cola, Pepsi. We're too into uh, sports to be drinking. <laughs> Here comes Rose with it. No, because it's minors, Green. You don't drink until you're See, I knew who that kid was just by the way he moves now. Rose lets it go and snipes wow. one. That's so funny, man. I can just tell it was him. I didn't even see his number. I can tell the way he moved because he's so good. What a goal by Rose. Yep. Uh, we're going to run that one back. Uh, he's gonna get his sellies and celebrate with the boys and possibly girls or whoever is on his oh, yes, right roster. from when he picks it up. Nice move by Rose to go through the legs of Ben Charsky. Rose in the neutral zone, gains the zone on the far side, lets it go. Look at oh, that wow. snipe! It's a UFO. It was beautiful. There was an unidentified <laughs> flying object that went flying through the sky, and it was a puck shot by Rose. It's good, man. It's very, good. very good, Green, and he just showcased it I right mean, most there. Most people that wear number nine are really good, right? 
Oh, well, two to good. one. The Chilliwack Bruins over the Leduc Roughnecks. You're just saying that because your kid wears number nine. Everybody that's good wears number nine. Uh, <laughs> no, it's a fact. Watch when the game's moving forward. <laughs> Back into the action. <laughs> I like how you pump your kid's own tires <laughs> in a completely different good. game. Yeah, I'm not saying that, but I like how you just try to flex him in someone else's game. <laughs> Classic Aaron Green. He is wearing nine. Uh, the puck gets dumped in. The oh, man. The Leduc Roughnecks tried to clear oh, it in. Oh, wow. Bounce, and the Cholak Bruins capitalize from the mistakes made by the Leduc Roughnecks. And that is two back-to-back -back goals right there. There's that same textbook play they keep looking for every time, man. I think that was number eight, Muxel. They look for that guy out front, and they get well, that one timer off. No, no, no. Watch this screen. Number six, Mryglod tries to spin around and hit the boards, but it hits the side of the net. So it was mishandled. Number six, Yalkowski picks it up to Muxlow right in the slot. Muxlow sneaks it right underneath yep. the armpit of Burnett. And that was all because he tried to bank it around the backboards, but it hit the side of the net yep. instead, and it didn't go where he wanted it to. It did so not. An unfortunate bounce for the Leduc Roughnecks. And then it went really where he didn't want. Turns into a positive outcome for yes. the Chilliwack Bruins. Three yes. to one. The Bruins over the Roughnecks so far. Uh, Fitzsimmons has the puck for the Chilliwack Bruins. Intercepted. Great work by Devine. Uh, but it's Schmitz there battling. And the Bruins have now started to open up the gates, which is Burnett. And they're trying to sink a couple more in green. They're doing what they've been doing all game. Working the zone and applying pressure. Man. And it seems to be working now. They are. And it seems like it's working too well for them, man. And that's the end of the second period. The Chilliwack Bruins three, the Duke Roughnecks one. And that's the end of the second period. If you've made it this far and you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, smash that thumbs up, and let's get back into this rep game. The third and final period in this round robin hockey game Ooh. at Sardis Sports Complex is now underway with the Bruins up three to one over the Roughnecks. And it looks like the Roughnecks are starting to turn up the volume a little bit right they now. They still have a chance to make a comeback here, man. There's lots of time left in this game. It's only a two goal game, Green. Anything can happen as number five gives Lyson has a puck. Great defensive work Great defensive by work. the Roughnecks player to poke that yep. or knock that puck loose. Number 21, Marco. Marco. Polo. <laughs> My name's Marco. Polo. <laughs> Back in the action. The Roughnecks battling behind their own net. Um, number two, Gervais. That big body backhands it, but he can't Ooh. clear the zone. It's held in by a Bruin. Fitzsimmons. Fitzsimmons gives it away to number 12, Klaus. Klaus whacking away at it. Uh, number 13, Hagen. Chippy the, game right Yeah, now. it's starting to get a little chippy green. Gislason has a puck. They're trying oh, to go through everyone. Sick. Can't go through number 10. Ben Charsky who gets his stick whacked out of his hand. Now, that's a slashing call that's right there, slashing. Green. Uh, no call on it either. Wow. Oh, nice shot off the blocker. Nice shot and a really nice slash that went uncalled. Yeah. I mean, the refs are kind of letting this game go, man. I, I feel it. Uh, oh, right oh, off front. He went between the legs. Moxlo tries to go between the legs. It doesn't work. The referee is going to blow the whistle down. The net is loose. A couple of bodies go crashing. And this game is turning into something. I mean, it's already what? been something, Green. Man, but the defense on the Roughnecks are really good, man. Yes, 100%. I mean, that's why the score is only what it is. It's the Burnett Dude. and the defenseman of the Roughnecks. They're clearing pucks. They're good at back check. Like, they're, real, they're doing phenomenal. I, I agree, agree. Oh, just, man, the reverse hit by Steffens. That was big. Hagen threw a hit. Or was that Klaus? I don't know, one or the other, but they ended up in the wrong uh, position. They thought they were going to be. <laughs> the in. wrong position. Gervais has a puck, rings it around the near side boards. Big battle right now between Hagen and a couple Chilliwack Bruins. Uh, it's uh, number six. There we go. Ryglod gets away with it. Ryglod in the... Neutral zone, gains the zone of the Chilliwack oh. Bruins, drops it off, was looking for Hagen, couldn't find him. Hagen gets a stick on it to keep the zone, whacks it deeper in. Mryglod going to give chase, but then he decides to let loose a little bit as the Chilliwack Bruins have that puck in the neutral zone, and they uh, get pressured. They got pressured right there, but he was trying to backhand it in. Yeah. He didn't know if the guy was going to smoke him or not. He did not indeed. Oh, right up front! And great That's defensive work by Ben Charsky to get that stick on it and deflect yep. that puck up and out of play. As Pesenko picks up the puck in the roughneck zone. Pesenko started oh. to break out, mishandles it a little bit, has to turn around, no, not gets good. checked by number 14, Muxlo, as he regains his puck. Pesenko trying to find number seven, Bencharski. They cannot seem to get a grip on it as Muxlo feeds it to Muxlo. Muxlo back to Muxlo, has a shot oh, and scores! Wow. The Muxlo connection, Green! The Muxlo 
Brothers. That was mucky. <laughs> that was perfect. That was mucky. Four to one. Wow. Let's have a look at that, Green. The Muckslow Brothers or cousins or whatever. They got chemistry out there. And it all starts with the Leduc Roughnecks. They can't get that yeah. puck out of their zone. They're getting hemmed in. Then look, Muckslow right to Muckslow. Feeds it. I don't know if that went five hole or lower outer side. Either way, it went in the back of the net of Burnett. The Muxels look like they might be twins. They look very similar when I just saw their faces. It is also possible, Green. We it's have possible. no idea. Uh, all Send we us know, a message if I'm right. <laughs> leave us a note in the comments on the YouTube video. All we know is it's 4 to 1, the Bruins over the Leduc Roughneck so far as the pressure continues. Number seven, Whisper feeds it to Bruins who have a shot, and Burnett makes that save again. Yep. I wish they were running the shot clock because I would love to know how many shots I wish they were. Burnett has faced. There's been a ton, Green. You know me, man. I don't like people that don't run shot clock. Yeah, I know you. As uh, Burnett's been, tournaments. Burnett's been a brick wall for his team tonight. A wall. So, I mean, hats off to him, Green. He's playing phenomenal. Uh, ben, he's got to be proud of it. No matter. It's 4-1. to one, Who cares? He's been playing yep. fantastic. I agree with you. Uh, but there can only be one winner, so we're going to go back to the action. Yelkowski has the puck. Fires it up into the zone. Oh! oh! A big body by number five, Harden, on Muxlow. And Harden's just showing that he can be hard if he wants to out there yeah, on the ice. Be careful. He could have hurt his own goalie. Yeah, yeah, that too. Right? You got to be careful on that. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, Maraglod with a little bit of a body. On the near boards, Rose battling. Ramsey behind him. Rose making moves to get around everyone. On the backhand, was looking Smart for Williams. Play. Couldn't find him. It's uh, Fitzsimmons who holds the zone on the near side, though. Fitzsimmons working those boards. Gets hammered by Gervais. Gervais, that big body. Again, yep. we've noticed him a few times, right? Yep, we have. You know what I would like to see? I would like to see the Roughnecks just start to plow them and make them afraid to touch that puck. That's because, what you got to do with it at have, this point, right? They have the size, Green. Yep. they got to start using it. Uh, back to the action. Number Try six. Jansen you know, feeds it to Rob, and Rob robs himself of balance as he falls oh, down. Oh, but what? it doesn't matter because it looks like his lacing got the tip on that and scored. That was crazy. I did not see that happening, Green. Me either, man. That was insane. Holy I have to watch it back. I don't even know how moly. it happened. Here okay. we go. Gislason, right to 16, Jansen. Jansen feeds trips it to Rob. To Rob trips. Puck gets right back okay, to Rob. This. He gets up so quick, fires it. Oh, oh wow. Man. Right in front of the goal, he chipped it over him. What a tip by Gislason. Wow. Phenomenal work. I love how he was right in that pocket, right wow. in the dirty zone. Green, I see too many players when we watch hockey not in that dirty zone battling. People are afraid to get in there. Gislason was not. No. He was right in that zone. The puck came flying at him. He got a stick on it. A beautiful tip. 5-1. to one. Jellock Bruins over the Leduc Roughneck so far. Dude, he laid his blade right sideways, and it just went perfect off of it. Back in the action. The Roughnecks throw a hit. And another one on number 16, Jansen. He's getting clobbered in the corner on the near side. A couple of hits going on behind the play. You can see their players lining up as Pasmenko has the puck. And now the Roughnecks have a long stretch to go in this third period to regain the lead yeah. or tie it up even. Green. Yeah, they got to start uh, putting in some work here. Laying some bodies. Oh, man. Fires just oh. wide. And Burnett goes to get that glove on it. Yeah, the Roughnecks need more offense going. Dude, they're big boys, man. They start are. laying the body. Get them afraid of the puck that's, in the corner, right? That's exactly what they need to start doing, Green. Nice work by number 10. Oh, here we uh, go. Ben Charsky. Ben Charsky feeds it up oh! front. And number 16, Phelan, gets his second of the night. He gets the Roughneck second of the night. And another beautiful goal by him. Dude, Phelan just popped that bottle, baby. Phelan got a beauty for his first goal, and then he just followed the trend and did it again, Green. It it's like as soon as he touched the puck, he had the feeling that he was going to get the goal. He was hooked on a feeling. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. Look at the work by Ben Charsky to use those boards. A little chip and chase. Yep. Feeds it right to Phelan. Is wide open in the slot. Oh. Pops the water bottle and just destroys Dylan on that one. That was an absolute gem of a goal. He laid Dylan to rest, Green. R.I.P. with that beautiful <laughs> goal. R.I.P., baby. That was a fantastic goal, and it could not have come at a better time for the LeDuc Roughnecks. They just need a couple more of those, man. Four minutes to go. Nothing's out of the realm of possibility if the Roughnecks make plays like that in the next yeah. four minutes because that's what they needed to be doing all game, Green. Yes, sir. That was fantastic. That was great hockey. That was one of the best goals of the game. Yep. And yep. it came from the underdog team, or what it seems to be the underdog team, from how I'm analyzing it right yep. now. Because I see it's been majority Bruins.
but the Leduc Roughnecks have sparks like that. If they can channel that for the game, Green, it would be. They could make a comeback. They could easily make a comeback as Williams gets a shot and another save by Burnett. Good job, Burnett. We're going to run this back just because Sally Entertainment can. Just because we like to do what we do. I just like all that battling going on. Green. I know. I love it. A lot of, a lot of battling going a lot on. Of big bodies out there, man. 100%. And, oh, there's a penalty uh, on the play. There's a penalty on the play. So there you go. Marco's an extra set. Uh, we completely missed that. So uh, refs have had it. Sally Entertainment, we miss things sometimes. Refs, refs, you can chirp us in the comments because <laughs> Aaron Green loves to chirp you. Oh, so. I don't chirp refs. <laughs> oh, and I'm Rob gets honest with them. hit from behind by Phelan. Phelan, um... I don't know where, what's going on here, Green, but that's what's going on. The okay, Roughnecks get, get right oh, this. to number 10, Ben Charsky. Ben Charsky chasing the oh, puck. Oh, he gets stripped. Look at that defensive work by Fitzsimmons. Very good. Wow. A beautiful defensive play by the Chilliwack Bruins, number 10, Fitzsimmons. Fitzsimmons regains a puck. Fires it. Oh, gets caught up in that awkward angle of the net. Feeds it right out front. And Dylan has to come up clutch as oh, a big scramble in oh, front of the boy. net. Bodies are going at it. Pushing and shoving green. Things are happening. The fans are going ecstatic in the background. And it's it's a hockey game. That's what it is. Oh, that got crazy for a minute there. That was awesome. Look at that. Feel that again. Nice green. He was going for his hattie yep. right there. He got robbed by Dylan. Keep putting that kid on the ice. He'll get one. One of Dylan's best saves of the game. He came in clutch where, when he needed to. Dude. This got just crazy up front. Look at all the bodies. Did you see that? <laughs> On the corner of my eye, it looks like Giz Layson just gave Rose a cross check, his own player. I think he was going for Ben Charsky, but <laughs> it looks like he might have hit his own player. Was well, Rose going to the box? There's going to be a coincidental green. There's already a pen, uh, player in the box for the Roughnecks. So. Those nines always get penalties. Uh, there you go. Yeah. Again, another dig at your own kid on a completely different game. I love it. <laughs> That's what we do at Sally Entertainment. Uh, back into the action. The Chilliwack Bruins eats a body by the Roughnecks. Uh, the Bruins get away with it. Feline giving chase on that puck. Feline's already got the the only two goals oh, nice for the Roughnecks. Uh, phenomenal D work as Muxo, who's got two goals on the night, drops right, uh, the puck back to Harasimo, right back to Muxo. Muxo, he's got, oh, yeah, number 14. Right Muxo, on the doorstep. He, the Muxo connection was right there, Green, but I guess the phone got disconnected because he didn't decide to call him on that play. <laughs> the phone got disconnected. And that's the end of the third period. What a fantastic hockey game. 5-2, yeah. to the Chilliwack Bruins over the Leduc Roughnecks in Ooh. our last round robin game that we're seeing. Okay, so that's it then. Well, now we're gonna we're gonna move on to the gold medal games. I'm sure that there's a couple more games. We're just not gonna be able to see them. All right. Uh, so well, we'll good be, luck out there, boys. Good luck to everyone, and we'll be back to see the gold medal games, and we'll see who's in them. Can't uh, wait for that in the next Sally Entertainment video. Uh, thank you and good night from Sardis Sports Complex. Like and subscribe.